Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is research in education with the topic hypothesis. Already in the previous classes, we have understood what is an hypothesis, what is the concept of hypothesis that is tentative solution of any problem we understood clearly and what are the sources that is general culture, scientific theory, analogies and also we understood the different hypothesis that is null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis and also simple, complex, associative and causal hypothesis, directional and non-directional hypothesis we understood clearly and also formulating how to formulate the hypothesis also we understood. Today we are going to discuss about characteristics of a good hypothesis. To complete the research project successfully, it is necessary to write a or plan a good hypothesis. The hypothesis is nothing but the basic assumption to do research project. There are many characteristics of good hypothesis which researcher need to understand, plan and write before starting the actual research work. Let's have a look at main characteristics of good hypothesis which are given below here. First one is testable. Obviously, we have clearly understood whatever hypothesis we are formulating, it should be testable. That is one of the most important characteristics of a good hypothesis that is testable. The means for manipulating the variables and or measuring the outcome variable must potentially exist. The second one is falsifiable. That is this characteristic is related to the ability to reject the hypothesis with the data. Then parsimonious that is should be stated in the simplest adequate form. It should not be complex. It should be simple. Then precise obviously should be specific and operationalized not vague. Then useful that is relate to existing theories and or point toward new theories. It should lead to studies beyond the present one often hard to determine in advance but it should be whatever research you are doing that should be uh, the uh, even the hypothesis should be useful then sound reasoning that is your hypothesis should be based on previous research the hypothesis should follow the most likely outcome not an exceptional outcome and also provides a reasonable expla explanation for the predicted outcome and it do not look for unrealistic explanations. It should be realistic, which should be useful for further generations also. Then clearly states the relationship between the defined variables. If we are not clearly defining the relationship between the variables, then it will not be understood by anyone. Then clear simply written hypothesis is easier to test. It should not be vague. Then defines the variables in easy to measure terms. That is, who are the participants? You, have, you should be clear who will be the participants of your problem. Suppose if I am taking about the academic achievement of secondary school students, my participant should be clear in my mind that is boys and girls. Achievement of boys and girls or both I can take or rural schools or urban schools, private or government schools, anything that which kind of participants I should be clear about. Then what is different or will be different in your test? That means it should not be continuously taking the same thing. It should some difference should be there which were previously done research. Then what is the effect? If you are doing some research, what will be the effect? It should be uh, purposeful obviously. Then testable in a reasonable amount of time. Obviously, I said in the previous class also, it should be testable. Do not plan a test that will take longer than your class project. If it is longer than your project, it will be time taking and will be hectic for you. Let's conclude the topic here. The only difference between gathering data without a hypothesis and gathering them with one is that in the later case, we deliberately recognize the limitations of our senses and attempt to reduce their uh, fallibility by limiting our field of investigation so as to prevent greater concentration for attention on particular aspects which 
past experience leads us to believe are irrelevant as insignificant for our purpose. This definition is given by Lernberg very, very clearly says that simply stated an hypothesis helps us see and appreciate the kind of data that need to be collected in order to answer the research question and the way in which they should be organized most efficiently and meaningfully obviously. A good hypothesis is not only testable that is something you can actually test for in your study but is must also be falsifiable. So, the uh, hypothesis which is tested may be falsifiable that is we can reject or accept the null hypothesis. So, we come to the end of this session. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.